Hello, it's Claire Leroy here and welcome back to my channel where I create videos for designers, decorators and home renovators who are looking to create beautiful homes to live in as well as businesses that they love to work in as well. And with popular demand, I'm back with another quick tips video in SketchUp today. You guys are loving these quick tips videos, you're getting a lot of value out of them. So today I thought I would share another one of these videos and today talk about styles in SketchUp, which is something that definitely people have a lot of problems with, especially when they are first getting started. And I'm just flicking through a couple of different styles at the moment so that you can see, but definitely people do find this a very challenging feature of SketchUp when they're first getting started. It doesn't work with the undo button. They can find themselves, they get in a bit of a mess. And so I'm just gonna give you some basics about the styles, how to use them, how to get back out of trouble if you do find that you get yourself in trouble with your styles panel, and a few other quick tips around the styles styles window and things like that. So that's what we're going to talk about today. If you are new around here, I share videos about SketchUp. So I do lots of videos like this. I also share videos about design, about running a design business and all sorts of things like that. So if that sounds like it might be of interest to you and you are new around here, please do click the subscribe button and also that notification bell so you can be notified when my videos go live. I also, if you are new around here and you aren't aware, have a online beginners course for for SketchUp and this is all around interior design. So if you are an interior designer or a home renovator or an architect or someone who just wants to learn how to use SketchUp for various different projects, uh, then this online course could be helpful for you. If that is something that might be of interest, I will put a link below for you. So please do check that out and you can take a look. But let's get into today's video. I'm gonna jump off the camera and get stuck into it. So let's cue the introduction and then I'll see you back here and we can get stuck into today's video. Okay, so the first thing to just share with you are the couple of different ways to actually activate your styles area. And there's a few different ways that you can do this. The first one, I'm working on a Mac, so this will be slightly different if you're on a PC, I would say. But the first way to find your styles window is to go to your Windows menu and to open up styles, which you can see here. So that will activate your styles window and that will give you all the different options for the different styles. The second thing you can do is actually just to edit your toolbar as well. So you can customize your toolbar in the view menu, come down to customize toolbar and you'll be given lots of different options of things that you can use to customize that and you can just drag on your styles um, panel there and just pop that up on your toolbar if you want to have that activated. So that's the couple of different ways to actually have that, um, have these styles ready. Now obviously in your full styles window you've got way more options of different styles that you can use um, over what's here. These are sort of just the common, you know, different styles that people might want to um, might want to use. So that's what's up on your toolbar. Now, this, what I have done, is one of the most common things that people struggle with when they're first getting started with SketchUp. What they find is they might play around with styles and then what they start trying to do is actually use the undo button and they find that actually they can't undo what they've done. They start clicking around on different styles and they find things get even worse and eventually they get themselves into a huge amount of trouble. Now, the thing with styles is that you really have to sort of think about backing out of what you have done. And the style that I usually model in is the one called Shaded with Textures, which is this one here on your toolbar. And if you just click on that Shaded with Textures and then you unactivate the other ones that you have activated, so I had clicked on this sort of um, X-ray vision one as well, then you'll find that you can back out of what you have done and you can get back to a normal view. And this is where people get unstuck because they do actually even just try and click back onto styles um, like the Shaded with Textures and they still find that you know the X-ray view is still activated and they just can't work out what they're getting wrong, they can't use the undo button and then they really get stuck with what's going on with their modeling. So think about styles as sort of backing out of your different, um, of the different click buttons that you click on. Now let's just take a look at the different options that you've got up here. So we do have um, the sort of common views and these are x-ray which sort of lets you see through the model I guess. It's not super handy for this um, sort of model here that you can 
can see because it doesn't really um, help you all that much with stuff. But as you can see, you can sort of see through all the different rooms in this um, model. We can see through into the ensuite that's behind this kitchen, into the bedroom beyond that, over into the garden and so forth. So there'd be, um, there'd be sort of times when this would be helpful. Um, this particular view probably wouldn't be all that helpful. So just click that one back off. The next one along is this one that is called back edges. So basically this shows you the back edges of each of your pieces of geometry. So as you can see, again, we've got quite a complicated model here. And so it's showing you a whole bunch of stuff um, and not super helpful. But if you did ever want to have just a simple sort of um, modeling up of perhaps some joinery or something, you'd be able to see, as you can see here at the back of this piece of island bench, we've got a wine fridge and you can sort of see the back edges of that all outlined in this particular view. The next one along is wireframe and that is basically pretty straightforward. So again, that's just the wireframe, shaders and textures and colors and stuff have all been removed from that. We've got hidden line next. So that's basically a very simplified view of your model. So you've taken out a lot of the detail and, um, and that's what that view is. We've got the shaded, which flattens all of your textures. So we've got shaded here, shaded with textures, which is this one versus shaded, which flattens, as you can see, we've flattened the V groove here, we've flattened this oak texture here, we've flattened the um, texture of the uh, the splashback here and so on. So this is quite a good one if you're finding that your model is starting to slow down a lot because um, SketchUp doesn't have to render all of the textures for you as it moves around in um, in the model. So that can be a good one if you're finding things are a little bit um, a little bit slow. So then we've got shaded with textures, which is pretty much the one that I use as standard, um, and that's this one. And then on the end here we have monochrome. So it just takes out the colors and textures and obviously turns it into a monochrome version of your model. So they're the simple ones that you have up on the toolbar. But obviously when you come down into your styles panel, you actually have heaps of other options as well. And actually this is where I see people get a lot more unstuck than with the, um, with the panel up the top here because they'll find that they sort of start to go, oh, these are exciting and they'll play around with them. And as you can see, we've got heaps of different options, all different things you can do like little hand drawing on sketches, you can do pencils on grid paper, pencil on brown paper, all sorts of different things, which can be really lovely actually when you're presenting different options. For example, like a hand-drawn sketch like this could be nice if you're just trying to um, just pitch a sort of a conceptual um, sort of project to a client or something like that. So there are different uses for all of these different styles that can be really handy. You've got lots of different menus here that you can play around with. With. But as I said, one of the things people find is that they then start to do this and then they get really stuck and they start trying to undo what they've done. So if you do find that you've played around enough and you don't want to um, continue with the sort of styles that you have, go back to your default styles here. And you can see that in here, you've got sort of the main styles that SketchUp suggests. And you just have also the options we've just been up through here as well. And just find the one that again is called Shader with Textures. Click on that one and you'll find that it goes back to how you want it to. Now, you've got these little green um, sort of clocks here on a couple of the different textures, um, style, sorry, as you move through uh, on a lot of these as well and on some of the assorted ones as well. Now, that just means that they are styles that render a little faster than others. So these ones that don't have the, um, have the sort of green thing on them, it just SketchUp finds it a little trickier to uh, to render those so they will slow your modeling down. So if you want to look for some quick textures, uh, textures, if you want to look for some quick styles that you can, um, that, that don't slow your modeling down too much, then look for these ones that have got the green clock there. Now, the other thing to just let you know about is that when you are creating scenes in SketchUp, uh, it will remember the style that you have chosen for that particular scene. So if you do like a particular uh, style, so say you did want to do sort of a conceptual sketchy sort of one like this, just create it as a new scene. Um, you can pull out your um, scenes window from your windows menu and you can just add that as a scene by clicking on the add button and you can, you know, rename that as something like 
Um, if we just open this, see this little triangle here, you can just expand this and you can just open up your extra um, window there and you can just rename that as, uh, you know, sketchy style, sketchy style or whatever you would want to call it. And then you've created a new scene. So you can then come back to uh, a different scene. So we'll just go back to floor plan with ceiling which was not where we were before, but um, just to give you an idea. So we just sort of play around with the scenes and then you can jump into sketchy style and you'll see that it has created the scene with that um, particular sketchy style. So that is quite a handy thing. It means that you don't have to play around with the styles each time you want to create it. You can just have a scene that actually is in a style that you like. And then a sort of slightly more advanced feature of styles that I didn't cover before you actually can edit and create your own um, styles as well. I've personally not played around with that an awful lot. I find that everything that I would need are already in these sort of presets that uh, that SketchUp has created. But if you did ever want to create your own, you are able to do that within these editing tabs within the styles panel as well. So that's just something to keep in the back of your mind as an option as well. And I think that's basically everything I was going to share with you about styles today. Just the basic of styles and how to back out of that because I know it is something that a lot of beginners do get stuck with and find causes them a lot of problems when they're working in SketchUp. So hopefully those tips are handy. I will be back next week with another video either on SketchUp or perhaps on design or perhaps on renovating or running a design business. And if you are interested in those, then please do subscribe to the channel and just make sure that you hit the notification bell so you know when it comes up again. If you've enjoyed today's video, then please give it a thumbs up that would help me a lot and don't forget that if you are interested in learning how to do these sorts of things in SketchUp and you aren't quite sure how to use it yet and you're keen to learn how to use SketchUp in more detail I do have that online beginners course for interior design so we look at how to create interior design models inside SketchUp so it's very much focused on creating joinery on creating uh, the sort of spaces that you can see here and really adding Adding in that sort of design element, we look at creating sort of custom wallpapers and fabrics and furniture and all different things to do with interior design and how to use that and use SketchUp for interior design purposes. So again, if that's something that is of interest to you, please have a look at the link that I've got below. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching. I hope that's been helpful for you and I will catch you in the next video. Bye for now.